Now, it's nothing new for the folks in Lincoln County to be fired up about their high school athletics. Only thing, it's usually football that has Falcon rooters excited. But right now, it's round ball that has the home folks jumping, and Harold Bug has the story. It's a town on fire with fever. Falcon fever. Uh, everybody's, everybody's fired up about it, definitely. The town behind them, I'd say 99%. Usually the source of that Falcon fever is found here on the gridiron. Lincoln County is famous for its great high school football teams. <laughs> but this year, the fever has moved here inside to what many are calling the best yet, Falcon 5. Oh, we have high goals, higher goals than we've ever had, and if we reach those, I, I think I'll be able to say that this was the best team we've had. In fact, there are only three other teams considered to be better in all of Tennessee. At 16 and 1, the Falcons are flying high. Now you come in after the game and people tell you, you know, they can tell you about the game when last year you come and they maybe ask you. Now people tell you, yeah, Doug, I heard you scored so and so points. They don't say, how many points did you score as usual? It feels great right now, but still, I believe we can get better, you know, as time go. Coach Cal Bills is a big reason for the thrills. Bills is fresh from wrapping up his third district title in the last four seasons at Lincoln County. But now comes the next hurdle. They don't play their best until they play against us. They can play anybody else, you know, they don't play them that hard. But when they play Lincoln County, they always have to. Because, you know, when you're on top, everybody's trying to knock you off. But getting to the top by checking Kyle Bills' record, he's found the secret to success. I've always said, and uh, you've got to have good players, you've got to have uh, chicken to make good chicken salad. Right now, all is left for the Falcons, and the town of Fayetteville is a dessert called a state title. Hurry, hurry. In Fayetteville, Harold Buck, Sports Center 19. And high school basketball postseason play gets into round two beginning tonight. It's the sub state playoffs. Winners here going now to the state tournament. Girls' action gets underway tonight and again on Thursday, with the boys' action seeing uh, action on Tuesday and Friday. Now, the postseason play is just getting into gear in Tennessee. The Lincoln County girls, who are 16-9 and nine going into the first round of play, faces Lawrence County tonight. Now on the boys' side of play, well, the Falcons are currently 21-2 and two in the season with a number five state ranking in the latest Associated Press rankings. Now they also face Lawrence County. Their game is not until tomorrow night. Well, I think if everybody plays, you know, their best game at the same time that we can, we're capable of beating anybody right now. A lot of games we played were... There have been a few people that played good and then some that hadn't, but if we put it all together, I think we're capable of beating any team in Tennessee, I think. We get a lot of transition points. Mm -hmm. We get a lot of uh, points off of uh, pressure, defensive pressure and turnovers. Uh, we like to get the ball out and get, it, get, get a shot quick. If we don't get a shot quick, we like to get it on our secondary break. So uh, we think uh, the defense is, is the key to our team. How would you describe this team? It's family. It's family. Togetherness. That's what, it takes. That's what it takes. Everybody pulls for each other. According to Smith, it's been reported that Smith may leave Auburn until round one of the sub-state postseason tournaments and boys high school basketball gets underway tonight. I'll have all the scores and highlights at 10 o'clock. But in Tennessee, they're just starting their postseason play and on a roll and with an excellent chance of winning the state crown is Lincoln County because they're a group of terrific teams. Tonight, the Lincoln County Falcons host Lawrence County in round one of the Tennessee State Playoffs. They're currently fifth ranked in the state rankings and are favored to win the state championship. On the season, the Falcons have their wings spread to a 21-2 mark. Four starters returned from last season's team, which went 21-7. They've been together a long time, and it's that togetherness or family atmosphere that has the Falcons flying high. It's family. Togetherness. That's Family team. Takes. That's what it takes. Everybody pulls for each other. They like each other and it's family. It's a balanced offensive attack led by all-star Quincy Vance. He's 6'6", 200 pounds and is already signed with Middle Tennessee. But the red and blue take pride in their defense. That's the winning ticket. You know, when you've got one or two guys that play real good defense, it, it, it catches on to the other guys, and uh, one guy gets on the floor, the other guy gets on the floor. So we've got a lot of skinned-up knees around here. It's kind of like contagious, then, isn't That's it? Like right. a disease? That it is. It's determination and hustle. Best to describe us. 
For years, it's been the school's football team that has been the pride and joy. But now, it's the basketball team's turn to carry the pride banner. I have their score tonight at 10 o'clock, by the way. Former Colbert County High, 50. In 1A, Gaysville has defeated Cortland 80 to 59. And speaking on top of Sandrock, the uh, close ball game there, 71 to 67. It was Morris Hill, a big winner tonight. And Vina squeezed by Meek, 61 to 62. Now for the Tennessee 3A playoffs, this is the first round of the playoffs for the uh, uh, folks up in Tennessee. But Lincoln County, we uh, profile them tonight at 6 o'clock. Uh, They're a big winner tonight over Lawrence County, 72 to 45. Lots of exciting again. Lots of excited again making their plans to attend. Tonight, the Falcons cruise their way to the state tournament to be held at Vanderbilt University in Nashville. The Falcons' first appearance since 1979. Tonight versus Cleveland in a sub-state matchup in Fayetteville, 3,200 plus on hand. The running Raiders kept it close, trailing by just by three at the half, but the red and blue Falcons exploded in the second half. Clifford Edmondson, there he is with a steal and a layup. He's also a hit a long shot for the Falcons. A watch is great shot coming up by Wallace Greer from the corner. Bottom, folks. Cleveland managed to score just 15 points in the half, while Lincoln County scored 43. A wild second half. Final tonight, Lincoln County 70, and Cleveland High 38. Well, one of, the, well, one of the tournament time is Lincoln County. The Falcons are 27-3 this season. Those three losses all coming by just one point each. They've got tournament experience, haven't made it to state in the last three years and only one senior starter. They are a team of the present and the future. We are excited about uh, this team now, and uh, looking ahead, we're excited about the future of the team, but uh, we're really concerned about next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and if we can get a, a state championship right now, I guarantee you we'll take it. Well, it's been a very good year for East Limestone and basketball coaches.